guys, it's Darlene here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So today's video is going to be the models edition of how to prepare for a photo shoot. In my previous video I did a photographer's edition so if you haven't seen that video you should go check it out and I will leave a link in the description down below. So I'm making this video because I figured you could help both models and photographers out um, because I think some models don't know how to get ready 100%. Um, so let's give a crazy example, let's say your model forgets to moisturize their legs or something, that means their legs are going to look dry and flaky in the photos, or if they forget to tweeze their eyebrows also, then it means that the photographer is going to have to fix it in post-production. So these tips are basically going to help you both and it's just going to save time and you know less frustration in both your lives if that makes sense. Okay, so if you are interested in the checklist for the models edition and the photographer's edition, I will be posting it on Instagram and Facebook if you'd like to save it. Uh, if you are a photographer, you could probably also send this checklist to your model to help them out. Um, but I think it's more for you to judge because you don't want your model to think you like insulting them or something, you know. So maybe if you're going to be giving it to a model explain to them why you're giving it to them and the whole reasoning behind editing and post-production or whatever just so they understand better but like i say it's up for you to judge whether you want to give it to your model or not okay so for my tips i'm basically going to be like reading off my ipad so i apologize if i keep looking down um but it's quite a lot that i have usually i just i just memorize everything but it's a lot so <laughs> i'm just going to look down now and then um so yeah, apologies for that. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. So my first step is to look after your skin. Now you want to look after your skin a week in advance before the photo shoot because obviously it takes time for your skin to sort of repair itself. So that's why we're going to be doing it a week in advance. And you can do this by washing your face every morning at night. Um, not just once a day because obviously you wake up in the morning and you've picked up some stuff that you need to get rid of throughout the night and then obviously at night time you need to wash it because throughout the day you've picked up some stuff and then you also want to moisturize your face as well um, and not only your face you want to moisturize the rest of your body as well because you want your skin to look you know 100% basically um, and as well as your lips you want to use lip balm lip balm whatever you call it um, because you don't want to have chapped lips on the day of the shoot and I know I definitely struggle with chapped lips so if I don't moisturize my lips at least once a day then we have problems <laughs> um, another thing is to avoid standing in the sun and I think a lot of people forget this um, and this is because you don't want to get like sunburn and tan lines because that's really hard to get rid of in Photoshop so that's one thing you need to avoid another thing is alcohol and it's not just avoiding alcohol the day before the shoot i think i would say the whole week before the shoot because alcohol does tend to age your skin as well and it can also leave like red marks or whatever so it's not going to look nice um so another one is you want to go to bed early and i think it's fairly obvious because um you want your face to look like young and fresh or whatever um, if you're gonna go to bed late and then wake up early the next morning you're just gonna look tired and you know you're not gonna look that great basically um, but now with those points said I do want to say like obviously everyone has their skin problems or whatever that you can't avoid like I have dark circles under my eyes it's just how I was made there's nothing I can do about it but if you go to bed for me example for my specific condition if i go to bed late the day before a photo shoot then my circles are going to be even worse than what they are usually so whether you have acne or you this that, 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 whatever, you want to do things that are going to prevent it getting worse basically okay so my second tip is body hair and basically you want to um, shave the legs shave under your arms or wax or whatever it is you do I don't need to know what you do you know just do it <laughs> um, and also you want to tweeze your eyebrows I'm lucky because my eyebrows are very thin so you can't see them um, so I don't have that problem <laughs> but if you have like very thick eyebrows you want to make sure they tweeze and they're sort of like neat and like straight and everything um, just so it, you know you have to you don't have to do it or the photographer doesn't have to like fix it in uh, Photoshop 
and I would suggest you not do it like the day before the shoot maybe like two days before the shoot because I do find that when you shave or you tweeze your eyebrows or whatever um, it can leave red spots or red marks or whatever so rather do it like two days before then we don't have to deal with the red spots either <laughs> if that makes sense so yeah that's it for that point okay so my third tip is to dress comfortably now what I mean by this is you want to wear like baggy sort of clothes um, so you don't want to wear skinny jeans to your shoots um, because it's going to leave like marks on your legs I know I don't know if you know like on the side it sort of has that like sort of like thicker piece and that generally leaves uh, lines on the side of your legs um, and also this includes underwear so let's say maybe you're doing a boudoir photo shoot you don't want to wear like tight bras or whatever that's going to leave marks on your skin um, so yeah, you just want to wear baggy clothes on the day of the shoot and something I actually just thought of now um, If you wear baggy clothes, also when you get your hair and makeup done It's just going to be easier to take off and not mess up your hair and makeup as well So there's actually another bonus to it <laughs> Okay, so my fourth point is your teeth And you know, this is basically fairly obvious But I'm going to say it anyway because you get people there that that don't brush their teeth unfortunately <laughs> um, which are basically it's just brush your teeth so they can be white and not yellow I mean duh, I mean that's kind of obvious you brush your teeth and they won't be yellow um, but if you do generally just have yellow teeth you can also consider getting um, a teeth whitener or whatever I don't know how that works but I've heard people talk about it so there's also another option for you if you're open to it but yeah that's basically it for this point there's nothing to crazy and you know rocket science basically so essentially just just brush your teeth <laughs> okay okay so my fifth tip is to do hair touch-ups and basically it's simple you want to wash your hair shampoo and condition because it's gonna make sure your hair isn't oily and looking weird or whatever <laughs> and it's also just gonna give like sort of a nice sort of like glowing shine to your hair um, another thing is if you dye your hair um, you want to make sure you touch up your roots because if your roots are growing out um, It's gonna look a bit odd in the photos and that's also very hard to fix So you want to make sure that everything is looking even from your roots to the end of your hair Okay, my next tip is nails and this tip is pretty optional basically um, So you can go get your nails done and make it all look pretty or if you already have your nails done You want to make sure that it's clean underneath and it's not like you know, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you're not really into long nails like me, like I cannot stand them, they just annoy me, then you do want to make sure that your normal nails are clean and, you know, cut and filed or whatever that needs to be done so it looks nice in the photos because that camera that's taking photos of you is very sharp. You can pick up fluff on your, um, on your pants or whatever, so I'm pretty sure it's going to pick up that your nails are dirty underneath if you don't do it. So... Just be aware of that is just to keep your nails clean. So my last tip is clothing. Now you want to discuss with your photographer, you know, what clothes to pack because your photographer can really help you out on with what clothes to pack and what clothes not to pack um, depending on the shoot. So you want to do that. Um, and also make sure the clothes that you pack is not too small for you or not too big for you. Otherwise it's just going to look a bit funny in the photos. Um, and then another thing is with shoes. Now you want to clean your shoes before the shoot because it's the dust or whatever is going to show on the shoes and that's very difficult to get rid of in Photoshop so make sure your shoes are clean so scrub them, put them in the washing machine, whatever it is that you do just to get them clean. <laughs> um, and also another thing because this has happened to me actually um, where I asked my model just to make sure her shoes are clean. Um, she cleaned her shoes and then she drove from her house to the shoots in those shoes that she cleaned and then it was basically just dirty again so like there was no point <laughs> so just make sure you use a different pair of shoes and leave your shoes in your bag instead of wearing it you know while you're driving because you just want to avoid that um, and then I know like a lot of photographers generally like Ugh, don't worry about shoes you know you'll just do the shoot barefoot I personally I don't agree with it but that's just my opinion it's because I like to capture the shoes in my photos and other photographers are not bothered by it and that's okay it's just you know it's my personal preference and then another sort of like go-to thing um, which is a bit personal I guess but 
The best thing is to pack a beige and strapless bra because there is nothing worse than rocking up to a shoot with a, like a bright pink uh, sort of bra and then wearing a white shirt because that is gonna like stand out like a sore thumb. <laughs> okay, and then another thing is um, sort of like prints on your clothing. You don't want to pack clothes that have prints on your clothing. Um, this doesn't include like flowers or you know patterns or whatever. Um, it has to do with like writing, so if you have like Adidas or Nike or whatever, you know, it's going to stand out in the shoot. So just avoid packing things like that. So that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can be notified when my next video is up. Bye guys.